One of the most important things to teach your horse is how to stand still when you're mounting. And so today I'm gonna to show you some of the things that I do to ensure that my horse holds still while I get on her. never know where you're going to have to mount your horse on the trail. You might be at a campground or a trailhead where there's people walking by. Your horse is nervous. You don't want to be getting on a moving horse. You want that horse to stand perfectly still while you get on. So the first part of the deal is to make sure your horse is standing still. Sometimes that's easier said than done. I like to make sure my horse's feet are all square, planted to the ground. They're not standing on one hip or the other. And if they start to move around, I make them do a couple of circles and then ask them to stand still again. Once they've done that and they've st stood still, then I'm ready to get on. So I try to do this with all my horses. This is Scratch, I do it with him too. Hopefully he stands still. I give him a pre-cue. And yes, I do flex them. I learned that from Down Under Horsemanship when I first started with horses, I really like that. It just tells the horse, here, I'm here, and I'm on your back, and I'm gonna flex you before we take off. So he waits for the flex, and then he knows he can take off. Now there are gonna be times when you accidentally bump your horse, or your leg may brush against her rump, and you know, you don't want your horse moving just because that happens. So I'll do that just to kind of test her out sometimes so that if it does happen accidentally, she's ready for it. She moved a little there, but she didn't take off. So I was pretty happy with that. Now we're gonna have some fun and ride. There are a hundred different ways that people do things with horses and you're welcome to do them however you like. I know a lot of people mount their horse by turning that stirrup in and standing at the front of their horse. I'm an old man on an old horse, a trusty horse, and so I don't really feel the need to do that. But if I was getting on a horse that I didn't know and I wasn't sure of, well, by all means, that's the way I would mount because that is a safer way to mount. So I hope you found that interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos, let me know in the comments or if you have a different way of doing it, I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching. Now go have some fun with your horse. Bye-bye, everybody.